Okay, it is our last week of lecture in this course. Today we're going to talk about kind of the next steps of getting your first job or internship. And while this may seem a little premature, especially this being your first course in our college, never early enough to start thinking about this. In fact, some of you might already have had your first job or internship in your field of interest. So you have this network. You built a brand. You've started to reach out and communicate to folks. And now you want to realize, how do I turn this into something that I can either make money at? Or how do I turn this into something that's going to really benefit, benefit me professionally? Well, the first is recognize who you might work really well with. Uh, the story I gave last week at the Miami Herald, I got to know their staff really well. I knew that's the internship that I really want to strive for. So a lot of this will actually come naturally as you start to build your network. You'll see who you get along with, who you don't get along with, what type of work environment are you interested in, what type of work is the company doing that you might really want to align yourself with. Is there a specific strategic communications firm out there that's doing work in that thing you just love to get up out of bed every morning and work on? That might be the place you need to be. And then it's do everything you can to get in the door. So as you build that network, realize that they always have openings for jobs and internships. In fact, even in the example last week, the question with Sports Illustrated photographers was, can I help you out? Is there anything I can do to help out? Can I carry camera bags for you? So in the case of, let's just say, that public interest communications firm that's doing that thing you really want to do, oh, hey, I noticed you're doing a project on XYZ. Is there anything else that I could help you with? And well, what do you have to offer? Oh, well, have you seen my website? Here's some of the things that, that are some of my skill sets that I can definitely offer to help you with. All of this kind of talks to each other. The left hand talks to the right hand in this case. Your left hand being your website, your experience, what you've done here at UF, and then your other hand being, what do they need from you? It's very important to keep that website updated with your work. It doesn't mean you have to blog every single day or figure that out, but really just so you have that skill set. So if you get a phone call and someone says, hey, what can you do for me? You can say, here's my website. Here's exactly what I can do for you. A lot of that's cold calling, but a lot of that's figuring out who that relationship that you have with. There's going to be someone that takes you under their wing and wants to mentor you. It's natural. It, it, they're, they're a good person if they do. You want to make sure you identify that person. And even if they're not open and willing at first, they might be really busy. Trust me. I've been the same thing to students that want to spend more time, more time. I'm sorry I'm so busy. But I always say, keep pestering me. Keep bugging me. And you'll, see, you'll hear that in the industry. Keep bugging me. Bug them to an extent to where it's not annoying. Keep doing those updates, and eventually they'll say, oh, hey, we've got that project. You'd be perfect for it. And they'll send that email and say, we really would love to have you in on this. So definitely take that network that you have. Take those notes from when you contacted them, and then see when they start offering internships. Do they have any job openings? And, and then you're not really interviewing for the job. It's, hey, we'd love to grab coffee again. We'd love to talk about this opportunity. And once again, use that being a student side. Am I the right fit for this? Turn the questions back around on them. Don't ask them, can I have a job? Say, do you, really, do you think I'd be a good fit for this? Do you really think that's putting them in the position of power as they're the decider saying, wow, you know, you really would be. Or, hey, have you seen this project that I did? It's very similar to what you're working on now. I think we could really get some things done. So definitely, definitely turn that network into getting a job. Second thing would be build on your experiences here at UF. I mentioned last week the portfolio projects that, that you should be working on, especially in sight, sound, motion. Really build on every project you do. It does not hurt to go get a professional opinion about a project you're working on in, in, in school. That's totally okay. doesn't mean they can do it for you. It doesn't mean they should line item edit your stories before you turn it in. But it wouldn't hurt to say, hey, would you mind checking out the angle of my story? Is this really a good story? Now you're starting to build that relationship with a mentor and a mentee even before you've left the university. That's vitally important. A lot of times what I did, and, and trust me, in any degree program, there's going to be a class where you're like, this is not the class for me, or I don't like this. I just, financial accounting, oh gosh. See how you can apply that class to your interest. So I had to take financial accounting. And I said, you know what? I run a photography business. I want to make sure, that, let me apply what I'm doing with financial accounting to my own photography business. Do everything you can to make the most out of your experience relevant back to you. It's kind of my way of tricking myself to be interested in classes that I knew I was going to have little to no interest in, financial accounting aside. And the last thing I want to talk about is asking for money. 
I know, again, this thing's really early, but for any of you who are photographers, I guarantee your friends ask you, oh, can you take my, my senior portraits for me for free? Or can you take my graduation photos for free? Or, hey, I'm getting engaged. Can you come shoot my engagement for free? All of this is wonderful. But I kind of have a rule, and it's never work for free. Insert asterisk here. Work for free if it's incredibly beneficial for you and your career. If you have no experience in this communications field and someone says, hey, can you help us out with this project? We don't have much of a budget. Totally. That's going to be a portfolio project. You run, you, you volunteer, you spend money to try and do that. You take a hotel room if you have to travel. You take a flight if you really have to. Um, but Understand what your cost of doing business is as you start to do more professional work. Break down what your rent is, what your insurance is, how much you spend on food, and then divide that by 30 days in a month. And you quickly get to realize, oh wow, it costs me $80 a day to live or $100 a day to live. Okay, I'm now starting to get a ballpark of what my base day rate should be. And you obviously don't want to work 30 days every month. Let's just say you only want to work 20 days out of every month. So now divide that monthly fee by 20, and that number's a little bit higher, it might be $120 versus $100. Really start to understand what your cost of doing business or cost of living is. I'll put a link to a really good blog post on this week's uh, module page or this week's page on uh, Canvas that can show you a, a very detailed breakdown of that. But money is very important. Money allows you to continue doing this fantastic field of communications. It's vitally important to not undersell yourself in this situation. I hope these last three weeks have really been helpful uh, as far as building your blog and kind of building up your network and now seeing how you can use these courses at UF to benefit you professionally. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Would love to hear some feedback from you guys. I sent some really cool design stuff last week. Would love to see you guys start designing business cards or that sort of thing. Feel free to send those by my way if you'd like some proofs. And I will see you next week for our class wrap-up. Get working on those projects and uh, shadowing those professionals. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Have a great day.